piece of the dosa. Take some of the potato. Ultimate bite right here. We're gonna take it with the potato, we're gonna dip it in that sambar. Go with the chutney. Let's get it all. One bite. The magical bite. We don't always do mock meats, but with the flavors here, I trust it. We are at Brickfield's Little India Fearing Common Pork. And we are about to dig into one of our favorite places to eat in here. The amazing about Kuala Lumpur is there's so many different cuisines, especially there's a lot of great Indian food here in Kuala Lumpur. So in this video, we're going to take you to some of our favorite spots. And fittingly, we're going to start here in Brickfields, which is Little India in Kuala Lumpur. So be sure to watch to the end for lots of delicious vegetarian food, uh, banana leaf rice, dosas, and much more. We're so excited. Let's go. It's one of our favorite neighborhoods here in Kuala Lumpur, the Little India. It's amazing. You see temples. There's great street food around. You get, there's a lot, there's a large South Indian community here. So we're at the Wine Yolu Corner. It's one of our favorite places that we've been so far to eat here in Kuala Lumpur. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at that. This is just our plate. We have more food piled on the corner. We have masala chai. Here's our plate. I have fish, squid, chicken, vegetables all over, jackfruit, I think this is pumpkin, cauliflower, and mock chicken. Papadums. Oh, forget your papadums. So what's special about Lawanya Food Corner is literally down an alleyway here in Brickfield. So but it's tucked in an alley. We actually have a cab passing by right now in this alleyway. We just love this setup. So you have all these different bowls of food, lots of vegetables available. Uh, there's some meats as well. You have these uh, long road tables. And uh, this place we've been dreaming of coming back to after the MCO. First time trying here, this place. Yeah, Lawanya Food Corner is a really special spot. One of my favorite meals here so far. Came here the last day before MCO came into place, so um, there's just so much here. But the key is you gotta come early. You gotta come here like, around 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock or earlier even, because if you come late, you know, we've come a few times, 2, 3 o'clock, they run out of most of the food already. So what's cool, you get your rice and you, you can add yourself what vegetables you want, and then you pay. They just give you a price. So vegetables, meat, seafood, whatever you want, you just pile it on your plate. So it's almost like a buffet style in a way. Got the hands here. Uh, I think this jackfruit is really calling my name first. That was the first dish that really caught my eye from everything. So let's get in there. Very firm, looks like it's young jackfruit. Uh, it's yellowish, I bet it's just turmeric. Mm. Wow, spice to it too. So there's chopped up onions in here, you see the curry leaves, mustard seeds. It really has that nice southern Indian flavor. You just eat a whole plate of this jackfruit. The young jackfruit's a dish we can eat anywhere, anytime, any preparation. It's that good. Really intrigued by it here. It looks like kung kung, but it's, it looks like it's a beet color. So it looks like maybe they put this in beet juice. The color is really intriguing, so let's give it a shot. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you get that kung kung flavor. It's got that nice crunch to it, but it definitely has that beet taste too, so it's a slight bit sweet. Really interesting. It's gonna stain my fingers soon. Now this gobi, the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Nice and fresh. Only a little bit of this left. It looks like it's uh, dal and greens mixed together. Mm. Yeah, it's like a bitter green in here but the bitterness is kind of tempered down by that dal and it's also gives it an interesting texture, a mix of the crunch with a little of the creamy and soft. So we also saw they had some squid here and a red sauce. Looks like it's gonna be spicy, so I'm gonna try that out. Mmm, wow. Yeah, squid is nice and tender. It's got a kick, now I'm really feeling that kick coming in. Yeah, it's spicy. It's delicious though. So, I just picked this without asking what it was. Afterwards, we asked what it was. It said it's mock chicken. We don't always do mock meats, but with the flavors here, I trust it. Mm. Wow. That's got some serious flavor. You even see there's a whole cinnamon clove right here. 
So it tastes, it's got a really nice curry flavor. Got that cumin, got that. A lot of other spices in there. Probably some clove, cinnamon. Really, really tasty. I'm shocked. Very mock meat, this is the one. We saw this plate here of mutton curry. And instead of just asking for a little bit, we just asked, can we just have the whole plate? He's like, yeah, sure. Very friendly owner. It's really nice. So we're going to take that. It's quite saucy. Take a couple of pieces here. Mm. Mm. You definitely get that mutton flavor. Um, it's definitely not one of the ones where it's like, you don't taste it at all, you do. And we like that. It's also got a nice spicy flavor. A lot of flavors from that curry. The curry that it's soaking in here. But if you're not a mutton or lamb lover, maybe this is not for you. But if you love it, this is your dish. I like us. Uh, we got some more veggies here. It's like some uh, bean sprouts or cabbage. We got this uh, masala tea right here, or masala chai. I'm gonna mix it up because he's a lot of sediment at the bottom. Let's take a sip. Mm. Oh my god. This one's got so much flavor in there. Like that cardamom hits you right away. I don't know how much cardamom they put in here, but it's a lot, and we're all here for it. Oh, this is one of the best masala tea I've ever tasted. It's absolutely delicious. Come drink about three of these. That's how good it is. Wow. Try some of this chicken. Mm. Very tender. Got curry leaf on here too. Mm. This is such a special place. Like, you see there's so many locals here too. Even the first time we came here for MCO, it was packed. So you can tell it's definitely a local favorite here. Um, we think it's absolute must try when you're here. It's excellent. So much flavor in here. delicious things and we're about to dig into our first order of business the black masala tea and filtered coffee we'll look at that then we call it four yards of coffee why is that because they just pour it four times like this so we had a really unique lineup here of dishes. Uh, you know, we made a whole video about South Indian food in New York City. You can check the link up here. We're gonna put a card. Um, my stepdad hails from South India, so you know he's taught me a lot about the cuisine. But we wanted to switch it up today. Uh, here at MTR, they have some really unique dishes here. So we got a bunch of them actually with rava, which is semolina, and one of them right here is the rava idli. So even in the menu, they tell you an interesting story how during World War II, India had a rice shortage, and usually idli is made with rice and gram dal. So Instead, with the shortage, they use the semolina instead. So this one, really interesting. So it has curry leaves, it has um, mustard seeds, cashew, a lot more in here. It looks really interesting. So it's the spongy cake. You can see the texture. It's quite dense from that semolina flour. So so good. Can rip off a piece and take a bite. Wow! So you can see all the curry leaves when you cut it open like that. I see the little bit of cashew there. Let's take a bite. Mm. You can really taste the uh, coriander or cilantro in here too. Sorry, Julie. Yeah. And the texture kind of reminds you of like a Greek semolina cake, actually. So it's, it's much denser than a uh, typical Italy that has the rice flour. It's like that one's a little more spongy. This one's more dense. Yeah, coconut chutney is always nice with the Italy because it absorbs uh, all the flavor and adds a little kick. Nice. It's a nice change of pace, this one. 
And then now for the dosa. So we got some really unique dosa here. So one of the dosa we got here is called the uh, puri masala dosa. So this one actually doesn't look like your crisp uh, dosa. It actually looks more like a pancake. It almost looks more like a utapam. You can see there's uh, lots of holes in it, but it's made also with the uh, fermented rice flour and creme dal. So this one actually comes with a lump of masala, the potatoes here, and it's covered in uh, masala spice. So it looks really interesting. Like this one just looked fascinating. We had to try it. So and they even give you on the side for all these, this little cup of ghee, the clarified butter. All right, so now we're gonna try this puri masala dosa. It looks so interesting. So it looks more like a pancake actually. Even when you flip it like this, it looks like a pancake on the bottom. It was really good. Now let's take a rip. I'll try it by itself first before I try it with the potato. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's just like a pancake. Like, this one doesn't have that crispy texture. It's much softer. Mm. Definitely has a lot of ghee in it already. You could taste that buttery flavor. But I love that spice on top. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip it in the chutney and the sambar. Mm -hmm. The sambar is really where it's at. The sambar is just full of flavor. That sambar has got the cumin in there. It is exploding with the flavor. And with this kind of texture, you can really absorb it like a sponge. So as opposed to more the crispy style of dosa, which we also have, I want to get to after this. So it's really interesting too, a lot of times you order a dosa has masala in it, like a masala dosa. Usually the masala, the potatoes are inside the dosa, but because of this uh, setup here, because it's uh, the style of this dosa, it's actually lumped on top. It looks like it was really just plopped on top of it. So I'm gonna scoop up a little piece of it, try it by itself. Mm. And it's really chunky potatoes. Like you can really taste the actual like chunks of potatoes in here. It's yellow, so it's probably has a lot of turmeric in it. Mm. A piece of the dosa. Take some of the potato. I'm gonna get the ultimate bite right here. I'm gonna take it with the potato, dip it in that sambar, go with the chutney, let's get it all. One bite, a magical bite. That's what you gotta do. Our other dosa here is the onion rava dosa. So we actually had ordered from this place during the MCO here in Malaysia. And we actually ordered this specific dosa. And the reason why, because they said there's cumin seeds in it. So if you follow us for long enough, or even if you're first timers here, we are cumin fanatics. So anytime we see cumin, we have to order it. So this one, it's also with rava, so it's made with the semolina. So it's another different, that's why it's, it's different than the, the traditional dosa that has like the fermented rice and gram dal. So this one looks extremely crispy. Can't even talk about it anymore. I need to take a bite of this. Whoa. Hear that crunch? Even when you look at it, so when you lift it up, you can see the cumin seeds right there. Let's take a bite. Ah. Mm. This is incredibly crunchy. So you can see when you look really closely at this, it's almost like translucent when you put it in the light. So you can see the cumin seeds. You can see there's a there's actually coconut in here as well. There's green chili, there's onions. There's a lot going on in this. And it's very buttery. So you have the ghee has definitely been, they were not shy on putting the ghee in this dosa. So like the, like the last one, I'm gonna go for an ultimate bite. I'm gonna scoop up here. This looks like a thicker sambar. And then we're gonna put in some of that chutney. So you get the more savory. This is actually a much thicker type of sambar right here. So you get that really savory element and you mix it in with that coconut chutney. You get it all in one bite. You get the coconutty, you get the cumin, you get the, all the spices. And combine that already with the heavily spiced dosa here. The traditional Indian filter coffee. It's got that lovely foam on top. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow, very strong. So it has that froth milk on there, but the coffee is nice and strong. Could definitely see why this place is very well known. They've been doing this since 1924. There's a lot of history here. 
What's nice about this place? You have signs and in the menu they give you all the stories and all the things behind us. So you can really learn more about the cuisine and the history of this place as you eat. So that's what we've been doing. We've been like looking at the pictures here on the side and referring to the menu. This is also a great place too if you are in Malaysia or anywhere that there's an MTR. You can really educate yourself on South Indian food as well. I like this one. Order the banana leaf rice here. We order two types. We order the classic with the white rice. We can also never say no to Brianna. Yeah, yeah. Great, thank you. So we got two types of banana leaf rice here. We got the white rice and we also got the chicken biryani rice. Can't say no to biryani. Like, when that's an option, you gotta get it. So we wanna switch it up and get two types. So we got with all three curries on top. So we had the fish curry, the chicken curry, and the dal just mixed together on top. That's the way to go to get all those flavors. And what they serve you with that elite rice, they give you the three veggie options here. So they give you the cucumber, right? So it's just covered with a yogurt. We got chopped up long beans, and there's a yeah. fried bitter corn. It's great. Not complete without popping them. First, we're gonna try this chicken biryani rice before we even get into the sides. This is calling my name. It's drenched in these curries. I don't see it on here too. I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. You can tell that the biryani has a lot of flavor by itself. But man, the curry and all that spice and flavor to it. Making the cumin. I was hoping I built the marrow with the itself. It's just nice and soft. Yeah, let's dig out. The chicken is crazy tender. Wow. This is like, this is a must order here. You gotta get that chicken biryani rice. There's two of you, order at least one. Yeah, for our first time we came here, we ordered two of these. This is awesome, but we wanna switch it up. Let's try it. It's not a dry button curry. Ooh, that's a aroma. Mm. Yeah, dry mock curry's got a little kick to it. It's got some sauce there, but the meat is very tender. It's just really flavor packed. That's another one of those. For anyone who's skeptical about lamb, mutton, goat, this is the kind of dish you gotta order. Because you won't taste any game in this at all. Mm.